Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a funny long back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we do reaction videos. Thank you for 20,000 subscribers. Thank you for constantly liking, sharing, commenting, all the stuff that you do. Uh, we appreciate so much. And Paul is asking me why I turn off comments sometimes. I actually don't turn them off. I think YouTube does that on its own. And yeah, so just find other videos you can comment on and I'll be responding to comments. Uh, a big shout out to people that constantly give us things to uh, react to. Please continue doing that. You keep us motivated every time you suggest something down below so just feel free to drop the link or the name something that you want us to react to down below and we'll be more than glad to react to it you can also find us on facebook and instagram as funny and jesse head there say hi we'll say hi back and you can check out our second youtube channel called funny and jesse 2.0 head there subscribe and enjoy the content that we put out so today i'm actually going to be reacting to muslim destroys atheism logical proof for god in few seconds so without wasting time let's get into the video see this is the thing right because we're born in the west in britain yeah the religion gets attacked all the time you have richard dawkins you've heard of richard dawkins yeah yeah, yeah. yeah i call him richard dawkins yeah <laughs> he's a bit of a crazy guy trying yeah. to like attack religions and yeah. blame everything on religions and stuff and there's no proof for god yeah. let, let me just two things here first and foremost we are brought up thinking that everything that we must verify has to be touch and feel. Yeah. yeah. But let me tell you something. If God could be touched and felt and seen, would that be God? No, no, you mean. Would, that, would that be well, God? It wouldn't really be a test of belief, would it? Because you would know. It's, for a it's fact not even just a belief because God actually says there's good reasons to believe in Him. For example, yeah. look. Do you believe you had a great, 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 great grandma? No. Do you believe I mean, in it? Yeah, but I mean, there's, it's obviously, I know that because of I'm here now. Uh, exactly. Yeah, but, but that's exactly the point. Have you ever seen your great, 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 great grandma? You don't have access to a DNA? I know scientifically, I, I would have to have one to be here. How, 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 well, I don't know. <laughs> See, that's the point. Using the terminology here, scientifically, you have no clue. You have no clue. Scientifically, you're dumb. You're, you're, just, you're just dumb on this position. Mm -hmm. We're dumb on this position because what does science say? Science say we can only verify the physical world and things that we can touch and feel. Mm -hmm. This is a non-verifiable thing. Yeah. The only way you know you got a great, 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 great grandma is because you're here. You've made a logical, rational decision. Not based on the physical world, based on necessity. Mm. If it's necessary your great, 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 great grandmother existed in order for you to be here. You can't see her, but if someone says she never existed, you say, get lost, man, you're crazy. <laughs> Do you see my point? Yeah. So the point is, we don't need physical evidence all the time to come to conclusions. Exactly the same thing with God. As you said, cause and effect, creator and created. Mm. Let's put it this way. Everything in the universe, dude, that begins to exist, okay, if I just popped like this, here I am, I just popped into existence, has a cause. You know it must have came from somewhere. Mm. Everything that begins, that starts to exist, always has a cause. Number two, the universe, without a shadow of a doubt now, began to exist. Based on philosophy, mathematics, Big Bang. You know about the Big Bang, yeah? Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> It's not that thing after too many curries, right? <laughs> yeah, the Big Bang, okay? So from all this, we know the universe began to exist. So what logically follows? Therefore, the universe has a cause. So we just say, right, without a doubt, we know the universe has a cause. What is the nature of this cause? Well, if you create the universe, it can't be part of the universe. Because if it's part of the universe, then that would mean the universe existed and didn't exist at the same time. Madness. Does that make sense? No. That's just crazy. Madness. Can Abu Bakr exist and not exist at the same time? Don't make no Although sense. we may want him not to exist. <laughs> he talks a lot. Yeah, yeah I'm only kidding. So there's that. It must be one. Because the knocking on the door, we don't assume there's Manchester United football pitch, the football team behind, behind the door, right? We, we say it's one person, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah. It's the most logical explanation. We know it must be all powerful. It didn't create <laughs> the grain of sand, it created the whole universe, right? Yeah. And we know it must be uncreated. Because some people say, well, who created God? It must be uncreated. Why? I don't know why. But let me give you an example. Say I want to shoot you, yeah? Yeah. Good style like this, yeah? <laughs> Boom. Yeah? Hackney style. <laughs> but before I could shoot, I have to ask Abu Bakr for permission. Abu Bakr can I shoot the geezer? He says, oh, no. he says, wait, I need to ask someone behind me to shoot. 
and that guy has to ask permission too. If that goes on forever, could I shoot you? No. <laughs> Impossible. Exactly the same thing with the universe. The question of saying who created God is equivalent of saying there is no creation. Because you need a final point. Because if it went on forever, we would never have creation in the first place. So look what we've just done, just very simply. We've said there's a cause for the universe. It must be one, powerful, and uncreated. This is exactly what the Quran says. قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ اللَّهُ السَّمَدْ لَمْ يَنِيدْ وَلَمْ يُولَدْ وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُ كُفْوَ أَحَدْ Say, God is one, unique, eternal, self-sufficient. He begets not, nor was He begotten. He's uncreated. And there is nothing like him. He's immaterial. He's outside of the universe. Yeah. So just using our aql in Islam is our intellect. Reflection, as the Quran always tells us to reflect. He uses the word yatafakkarun, for those who reflect. Because the Quran is for reflecting human beings. So we come to the conclusion that there must be a God. For me, I think that's irrefutable evidence there. Yeah. We could even go slowly through it again. Because they were very basic concepts, weren't they? Yeah. So there's evidence for it. Mm -hmm. yeah, there's evidence for it. And then what I would say now is, well, is God an absentee landlord? He just give you the keys and will go away. No, how could we apply something to God that we never apply to ourselves? I've got a Blackberry, right? Mm. What came with my Blackberry? A manual came with my Blackberry. No. Human beings made this no. and they made the manual. No. So we make manual for things. But we're we saying God wouldn't give us guidance. <laughs> we're we're actually being saying lesser for the being that created the whole universe, yeah. we must be chiefs if we think that, man. We must be crazy. So the point uh, is, it only makes sense that he gives revelation. Now the question is, what is the revelation? That's a profound point we need to be talking about. Uh, sorry to cut you there, because we've got a few callers, inshallah ta'ala. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum salam. My name is Ikra and I'm calling from London. Mashallah. Mashallah, Hamza, you are an inspiration for us all. And I have a question for Brother Gregory. Um, your general views on the way things are are very Islamic, which is really impressive, as you believe in one God and your views on the hijab, etc. And I'm just intrigued to ask you, what is holding you back from being a Muslim? And do you see yourself as being one? Um, I'm not ignorant to the idea. I mean, I'm slowly learning. I don't, I'm not going to I don't know a lot about the religion. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say 100% I, I feel that I'm going to convert, but even though, like, for example, he's given me very good evidence to suggest there's, there's a God, <laughs> but um, sometimes you have to believe something 100%. Just to be and sure, man. And me, as, I'm quite doubtful about anything. I'm so indecisive about anything. I go in the shop, I don't know what to buy. So for me, maybe more than the average person, it might take a bit longer to be 100% sure of what path I want to take. Mm -hmm. I mean, I understand that, obviously, you shouldn't really take long. Death is promised to every man at the mm -hmm. end of the day. Do you know what I mean? So obviously, I want to try and find the right path as quick as possible. I mean, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm young, I'm just trying to learn and, you know, hopefully find the right path, really. Uh, this was interesting to watch. The guy actually made some pretty cool points. Very, very good points that makes you wonder why, how are you going to believe your great, 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 great people existed but you haven't seen them. There's no pictures, there's no this, there's no that. You have no proof of proving, proving it. And then we're saying science is saying, he's saying science says you can only prove something by seeing it, touching it. Um, I don't know about that because there are many things that science proves and they haven't been seen or touched by anything, you know. And um, like I said, he really made some good points. I really don't even know what to contribute to this because everything was just straightforward. Although I would love to ask, because I've heard this going on and I've heard people have this conversation saying, uh, if God created us, then there should have been a creator who created God. So at the end of the day, it's like we put ourselves in this position where we're saying, if God had a creator, that creator had a creator, who had a creator, who had a creator, who had a creator. Do you understand? So, and how many creators are going to be there, you know? Sometimes I have to, um, there's a point that he made as well. He said that things should come from somewhere. Things come into existence because they're coming from somewhere. I guess that's creation. We came into existence. That's creation. I also love the phone example that he gives saying, uh, but if if when phones are made, they come with a manual. So why can't God give us a manual as to how we should live on earth? That was a very, very good point. Something that 
you can't argue with i don't know what do you guys think what are your thoughts on this um also the guy talking about how he has to learn something without fully committing to it is nice like he said you can't go to a shop and just know what you want sometimes you have to try on things test this see if you need this and see if you don't and that that was a good response let me know what you guys think about this video make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video